Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do another holiday makeup look but this time I am going to gear towards the southern hemisphere because Christmas here is around summertime so I want the makeup to be light but festive. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. I've already filled in my brows because personally brows takes the longest for me. So for primer today, I'm going to use my Dr. Brand Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer and this one is great for filling in your pores as well as mattifying your skin. So for foundation today, I am going to use my Mecha Max Life Proof Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade Caramel 8. Now this is a little too dark for me, so I'm going to lighten this foundation with the LA Girl Pro Coverage in white. Since it's summertime, I'm actually kind of happy with my base even though it didn't really give a very full coverage because it's kind of hot and I don't want my foundation to melt. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Mecha Max Life Proof Cream Concealer. And I have used this so many times. It will balance the tone of the foundation since the foundation is a little bit orange. And I kind of prime my eyes with it as well. And to set there, I am going to use my Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'll use the banana shade before it creases badly. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder just to tone down the orangey tone of the foundation. I like to set my face with a yellow powder to neutralize the color. And moving on to the face, I'm going to use the same contour palette and use the shade right here to bronze and contour a little bit. And for blush today, I'm going to use my MAC Powder Blush in Fleur Power. And this is more of a pinky shade because I want to tie it in with a look. And for highlighter, since we're on that pink tone, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild I'll Have a Cosmo Highlighter, which I am to this day obsessed. To start off the eyes, I'm going to use this transition shade from the Chi Chi eyeshadow palette. And to deepen the look a little bit, I am going to use this shade right here. Focus that on the outer areas of my eyes as well as the crease area. So I'll form like a V and then just circle the brush and bring it up to the crease. And to deepen the outer V a little bit, I'm going to use the shade right here from the contour kit from Kat Von D. Going back to the Chi Chi palette and use the transition shade and blend everything For lower lash line, I think I'm going to go for a little bit warmer. So I'm going to go and use the shade right here on that same brush that we used before. And then I'm going to use the shade right here to just put it on the outer parts of my lower lash line. Moving on to the lid. I am going to use a flat shader brush because it usually works better, especially with this palette right here. So I'm going to take that champagne shade with a flat shader brush and create sort of like a cut crease just using that negative space in our lid as a guide. And then I am going to use the same brush just to blend it in. Moving on to the pink topper, I am going to use the shade right here with my pinky finger so it will look 
like that and just gently pat it onto the lid and I'm going to use the flat shader brush that we used before to spread the product So the eye will look something like that, so it kind of looks like coppery at the moment but it has that hint of pink So I'm going to go back to the LA colors again To kind of put that on top And then I am going to go back to this shade right here and blend the edges for the inner corner highlight, I am going to go and use this shade right here which is sort of like a champagne gold Mix mix it with this shade right here to have that pink tint to it And then add the pink from LA Colors To amp it up a little bit because I want a little bit more of pink to it I We'll probably add a little bit of this one right here using a flat shader brush and kind of just put this in here. I will highlight my brow bone using this peachy shade right here from the Kondo Kit because I want a matte brow bone highlight. So for lips today, I wanted to be a little bit bold but then summer appropriate So I'm going to line my lips with the Exaggerate Lip Liner from Rimmel And this one is in the color East and Snob Which is a great, sort of like a mauve pink liner And for lipstick, I am going to use my YSL Rouge Velopte So this is not the shine version, this is their normal lipstick And this one is in the shade 31 I think this was limited edition because I got this ages ago So this is like a bright fuchsia pink So this is what it looks like with this lipstick So if you're one of the people that are very bold and out there I feel like you're gonna like this lipstick with this look so this lipstick is a little bit too much for me So what I'm going to do is Use my finger to kind of sheer out the lipstick And then on top of that I'm going to apply the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream And this one is in the shade Adorable And to set my face I'm going to use this UHD Pro Setting Spray from a2 Lab, which I got from Shop Miss A And here is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video This makeup is a little bit smoky but daytime appropriate And I love the fact that I kind of incorporated pinks in it To um, make it more toned down and wearable and fun for Christmas picnics or whatnot if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on my next video. Bye!